and welcome to Fall Farmathon episode one. So today is a very exciting day because today we are going to be starting harvest for 2023. So this will be the first day of harvest for 2023, first episode of Fall Farmathon. Hope you guys are excited. I'm very excited about it. We're all really excited. We've been very impatiently waiting for harvest and it's finally time. So the past couple days especially have been really difficult to wait because the beans are like just very very close to going but the problem is we've been having a bunch of foggy mornings and dewy wet mornings and cloudy and just not getting very warm and not getting very much sun throughout the day and with corn that's not a big deal with beans it is because they pick up moisture and they have to like re-dry every day so you can't start as early and they're a lot more sensitive to fog and dew and they need sun so we have not been able to go the past few days because it's been so foggy but today is the day where it's going to start like turning around for the next few days and we're supposed to be like in the 80s sometimes even 90s with lots of sun for the next few days so very excited about that and we're going to get into the fields today and start harvesting soybeans so hopefully we can get started around noon and yeah that should be good we've already got some sun this morning so that's really nice to see so um, I hope this isn't not going to be too much talking at the beginning of the video but I want to give like a reintroduction to Farmathon for those of you that might be new here so Farmathon is something that we started doing during the busy seasons on our farm so planting and harvest is when we do it spring Farmathon and fall Farmathon and what that is is I vlog and upload daily vlogs through the busy season so I post a video every single day it's a lot and it's really really busy but you guys love it and I love it and it's just really fun especially I love I love giving you guys like hopefully an idea of what it's like during busy season and when I daily vlog and um, post daily and post that current I think it gives you guys a good idea of what it's like during busy season also videos might not be quite as fine-tuned a little bit more of a rough draft because I'm having to edit and get them out so quickly but I think you guys like that too so I'm at almost three minutes of talking hopefully you guys have stuck with me through all of this and I didn't bore you to death but that's the plan I'm gonna start harvest today I just got over here and got the sheep turned out the sun is shining it's a beautiful fall morning I'm excited and I hope you guys are too got the combine out and down here next to the bean head ready to get hooked up Seven hooked up to the auger to run it into the bin and they got the bean head hooked up to the combine. Right now we're going through getting all of the settings on the outside of the combine switched over to soybeans. Check the beans here a little bit. See um, it should be that when you just squeeze these a little bit, they crack and shell out, but they picked up dew overnight, so they're just a little bit wet and don't shell very good, so we gotta wait for these to get dry, dried out so that these pods will shell. Most of the time on the first day of harvest or planting to, it's not going to be your most productive day because you always have to get some stuff figured out, um, make sure all the settings are set correctly, got to look behind the combine, see how things are doing, make adjustments and just figure stuff out and hopefully not have any breakdowns, but you're just kind of getting back into the routine 
uh, for the year because you know it's been an entire year since we did this. It always takes a little bit to really get going good, but then hopefully once you put in all that uh, effort to get everything running smoothly, then it really pays off and you can get a lot done quickly. Something is wrong with our computers that it's not recording any of the information like moisture, uh, yield, any of that stuff. So we are at a pause here and trying to get this figured out. I hope that we can get this figured out quickly and get going again. Okay, we got the handheld moisture tester out here, so we're going to see what it says. Okay, let me give you guys little update. So we started into the beans at around 1030 and they at first the computer wasn't recording the data the way it's supposed to but dad got that fixed but then the moisture on the beans was at like 15 percent which is still okay to combine but we like them to be down to 13 to 14 percent at least to combine so we decided to wait a couple more hours before we think that the beans themselves are dry enough it's just the pods were still a little bit wet um and they hadn't quite dried out enough so we let are gonna let them dry for a couple more hours and then try it again so it is now 12 41 so it's already been like a couple hours um and we will try it again here pretty soon that's where we're at hopefully when we try them again uh they will be dried out enough to go we'll see so dad's going and we haven't heard any bad news and he hasn't stopped so i'm gonna take that to mean that the beans are good to go okay Dad called and said that we're supposed to get a moisture sample when he gets back down here and see what it's testing at. Alrighty, everybody. Good news. It is testing around 13.3% moisture, which is perfect. So we are going to be harvesting all afternoon and harvest 2023 has officially started. So we'll come down here and look behind the combine and see how things are looking. You just want to make sure we're not losing too many beans. And I see a few, but most of that, I'm going to guess, is shattering off the head. And that really cannot be helped. So what we're looking for, we want to make sure all the pods are shelled out good. And we don't have any whole pods that still have beans in them, which it looks good. Okay, everyone, it has been going really well. Me and Eliza have just been kind of like running around doing whatever needs done. We delivered radios to people. Occasionally, Dad wants me to check behind the combine and tell them what that's looking like. And now we're going to be delivering some more stuff. But honestly, soybeans are really slow. And corn is a lot busier and there's a lot more for everybody to do. But right now, it's we need one auger cart driver and one combine driver and then somebody to run it in the bin. So we're just kind of on standby. But... It is not even officially harvest time yet. So you may think that the fact that the combine is in the field and the auger cart is in the field, that's what makes it harvest time, but no, it's not. I will show you this. This is what makes it truly harvest time. You guys see this? Mountain Dew, yes. It is started with Farmathon 
I will be drinking Mountain Dew every single episode that my mom allows me to. So, yes. If you guys remember last year is when, like, the whole my love of Mountain Dew uh, started getting um, known on the YouTube channel. So, we've had, like, a ton of people send us Mountain Dew over this past year. And it's been, like, so awesome. So... I still love Mountain Dew just as much, and I will be drinking Mountain Dew. Okay, here we go. First Mountain Dew of the harvest season. Ah, delicious. The pop has been successfully delivered. The only bad part was <laughs> we, so we have quite the load there. We have my camera bag that I'm carrying, two cans of pops. We have to take our hats off and carry those when we're riding on the four wheel or else they fly off. And then the radio. So <clears throat> I had Eliza have the radio back there and she was hanging on. <laughs> Well, we were driving by the combine to leave, and so Dad and Lemuel were waving, so Eliza puts her hand up to wave and forgets that the radio is in her hand. So I'm speeding hand. off, and all of a sudden I hear from Eliza, the radio! And so then I look back and I'm like, did you seriously drop the radio right in front of where the combine's gonna be driving? And so then we go back, and by this time the combine is like throttling up to take off. Well, I jump off the four wheeler, go speeding back there, um, running as fast as I can to get the radio. And so then I think dad saw it. And so he stopped the combine. So then I was like, oh no, I'm gonna have lost the radio. And dad's gonna have seen the whole thing. So then I, <laughs> I went running back there and they're on the ground, perfectly fine not even ran over by the combine was the radio so i picked it up and went and jumped back on the four-wheeler and we took off and we beat the grunt cart oh yes we beat the grunt cart yeah very impressive the radio is safe and that was our little bit of excitement so yeah note to eliza life lesson don't wave when you've got a radio in your hand Okay, harvest is going well, and things are going, rocking along pretty smoothly. Um, I'm going to go over and, what time is it? It's 4.30. I'm going to go over and get evening chores done at the barn. Um, and yeah, things are going pretty good here. So, we're going to try and get, probably will not make much sense, but this is a 100 acre field, and he like split it right down there, and we're going to try and get this section over here done today before we quit. Um, with beans, you can't work very late anyways, because once the dew starts setting in, um, you can't harvest because that gets the beans wet all over again. So, oh, there is Jocelyn. We're going to go to the barn and do chores. Hello, Robin. It looks like you knocked your board down and locked yourself out of the barn. Earlier when we came over here, she had knocked her board down and locked herself out of the barn. And so we set it back up, but it looks like she did it again. Come on. Robin, don't run into the barn. Robin. See, now this is how you knock your board over. You just like plow through it. There you go. Hi, Hi buddy. Hi. I should probably unhook this before I electrocute myself. Now, I'm gonna go do the sheep.
Okay. Chores are done. Okay, we have lunch delivered up here, waiting for the combine. Yeah, that, sorry, it's supper, not lunch. It's water. I know, mom sent water. <laughs> um, we have supper ready here, and they are already eating it, and we're gonna get the combine up here. They finished that section over there, so I guess we're gonna start on this section now. So, yeah, doing good. everybody we just turned the combine off for the night and we're gonna head inside it's somewhere around 7 30 but the beans are starting to get a little bit tough so we're gonna go call it a day we got 60 acres done today um that's what we had and then a sensor started giving us issues and so it wasn't calculating for like the last two passes um our acres or moisture or anything so I think we're going to try and get that sensor fixed tomorrow and then we got 60 acres done which is really good especially for the first day of harvest and then by the middle of the afternoon uh, beans were the moisture was at like ten and a half percent so it started out 15 percent this morning and down to ten and a half this afternoon so definitely dry enough to be combining and going really well 
She realized that it's like very dark. Let me step inside here. Where like hopefully it's not quite as dark. There we go. Is that a little bit better, maybe? So we're gonna call it a night. 60 acres done. And that is the end of first day of harvest for 2023. And that is going to be the end of Full Farmathon 2023 episode one. So I'm going to go in and uh, try and get this footage from today edited. I have like a ton of footage to go through from today, but that is going to be it for today. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you tomorrow.